propane tanks are open. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode. My name is Sam Soby, and today we are doing some winter camping in my new ice hut for 24 hours. I have slept many nights out on the ice, but not with my new ice shack. So everything's still very new to me. And uh, right out the gate, I'm just gonna tell you, I'm, I'm not a good camper, if you can be good at camping. Uh, I'm a fisherman at heart, so I'm usually thinking more about tackle, baits, spots, and then I'm like, oh, I forgot to bring food. It is time to re-drill the holes. Uh, cool thing, especially if you fish in a permanent shack, a K-drill has chipper blades on it, so if you fish the night before and they refroze, the chipper blades, they open holes really easily. So let's open these holes up and then, yeah, continue on. <laughs> bring tripod down and do laptop up. It is actually a gorgeous day. The weather conditions today are like 30 degrees, mild wind. Today would be an incredible day to just kind of be out hole hopping and fishing. And I might hole hop a little bit later, try some different spots. Maybe I'll drive the truck across the lake. I'm just kind of hole hop a couple different brake lines or humps, but for now, I'm gonna get things set up. We're taking the blackfish off. Let's get comfy. And yeah, I think I need a water quick. So I'm trying kind of a new spot today. Uh, it's not super deep. I've never really tried this spot before. On the rattle reels, I'm gonna put down a shiner and a fathead while I'm kind of just kind of messing around the house. But then when I start to jig here, I'll probably pull one of the one of the rattle reels up, and I'll leave the shiner on here just for a walleye. I'm not really expecting to catch a walleye, but if I did, that would be pretty sweet. So some gear I have outside the shack where it's nice and cold on the ice. Um, I brought a little stir fry for tonight. I brought some venison back straps, some venison bacon for tomorrow morning, uh, just some kind of sticks, venison sticks, a couple eggs, obviously a pan, a case of Budweiser diesels, in case my pals show up, they are thirsty fellers. Uh, some G-Raid. A variety of Jack's pizzas and Hot Pockets if my pals come out too, because I ain't giving them the goods. But uh, yeah, that's that's my supplies. I'm not, I'm not like loaded down with supplies, but we won't go hungry. All right, I've got my rattle reel there. That hole is just wide open. And I'm gonna be jigging there. I got my Vexlar sitting on top of my minnow bucket. While it's still light out, let's do a little jigging, maybe for some bluegills. Uh, my approach right out the gate, at least for some daytime gills, we've got about a couple hours of light before it's probably prime time. Um, is gonna be an all white clam drop jig right there. And on the back of it, I'm just gonna put some silver wigglers. These suckers are really lively and bluegills love them. I think this is 132nd ounce. Uh, my rod setup today 
is an Elliott Rods Inhaler. It's a spring bobber rod. It's super nice, especially for finicky gills. I'm in shallow water today. I'm in like seven and a half, eight feet. And sometimes those gills, especially in shallow water, will just barely bite it. And just being able to see that spring bobber just barely move can be the difference between detecting a bite and not knowing they were there at all. So let's get baited up. I'm not marking anything right now, but in shallow water, it seems like if you jig aggressive, sometimes they can come in from a long ways away. This lake's pretty clear too, so here we go, fish on. That is not what we're looking for. spending a night in the fish house, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, and all you have to do is to make a oh, sh boy. So I can decide from how bad you really want me to come. But I am going to go, nice, that's a pretty good one. That's a good one. It's a freaking bomb. It's a freaking bomb. <laughs> on the set line, a freaking bomb. That is a freaking gyno. I am just casually fishing. That was on a set line. Mouth closed. That is close to 14 and a half, but bigger than 14 and a quarter. Oh my gosh. It's a pike. Oh, it's not rocket. Not what we're looking for. No. First crappie of the night, just a squeaker. Fish on. Crappie. Okay, they're getting a little better. This would be a good eater. All right, we're getting a little closer to prime time. This would be a good eater, but I'm not eating tonight. Here we go, fish on. Ooh. Not a giant, but a better gill. Alrighty, we're getting pretty close to prime time. I think Stephanie's gonna come out and fish a little bit, so I'm gonna leave the shack, go pick her up at the access, come out, we'll probably fish a little bit, and then I'll cook dinner after she leaves. She already ate. If fishing is happening, <laughs> dang, Steph the Great sniffs me out. I have to come with you. <laughs> Good thing I made two Hot Pockets. I made hers pepperoni, and this one is ham and cheese. And of course, you come right at prime time. It works, it works. I, I just got off work, perfect timing. I had a little earlier day. Might as well come out to the fish house. How late are you going to stay? Until they stop biting. <gasps> I feel like this is a disgrace. What are you wearing? <laughs> it was so warm, I didn't even have to. What are you wearing? That is not allowed out here. You're right. That is not allowed. Okay, now we're fishing. Now I'm fishing. <laughs> Alright, prime time happens in like 15 minutes? Her down. Not only is Steph the great good company, but now we can run more lines. So I'm gonna put a couple more rattle reels down. So we can each run two lines. We're both gonna jig and we're both gonna have a rattle reel. Mm -hmm. Bigger? A little better. He's wrapped around the transducer. Better than the other one. Are Coffee. we keeping tonight? Nah. <sighs> Should I? Well, let me see. That would be a decent keeper. 
God, I'm thinking we almost should. Not that one. <laughs> Good one? No. It's a little crappy. You're kind of a good eater, gal. Should we keep? It's up to you. What year is it? Where'd you get it? Yeah. How big is it? What's yours? That's a China. It's a Do you China. Want me to turn the camera? No, you're good. It's a China. Hooked up? Yeah, I think it could be a better pike. He's kind of up here. Get your head up here. Get your head up here. Oh. Yeah, he's wrapped yeah, it. He's wrapped in it. Well, it's not a walleye, but not a bad little pike either. I'm gonna get him right back. Slimy. Get him, T. Gonna pull a pot. There Good we one. Go. Pretty decent. Do you want me to grab it? I think I'll be alright. Oh, maybe. Yep. Yep. I thought, he, I thought he was better. Not a big crappie, but still a good crappie. Back to the drink. Marking. Marking. Hooked up. There we go. That's nice a nice one. one. Nice one. Not a giant, but that'd be a good eater. But we're not keeping it tonight, so that's cool. All right, fishing has slowed down a decent amount, which means we are about to go head to head in a 100% throwdown death match of some cribbage. I don't know, have you even won a game in the house yet? Yes, I've won a game in the house. Have you actually? Yes, we're one and one. Really? Yeah. We are, we're one for one. Sure. Selective amnesia, you just choose not to remember it. Sure. <laughs> All right, cribbage results coming at you in three, two, one. Well, 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 well. I pegged out and ended up winning, but barely by like, what, five points? <sighs> I was focused on fishing and mm -hmm. not cribbage, so. Yep. So the primetime bite was kind of eh, nothing too crazy. Some small crappies, one decent pike. Uh, I just dropped Stephanie back off of the access. She's got work early in the morning, so she's headed home. But for now, I think we might start making some dinner. Okay, on the menu tonight for dinner, we have a little stir fry action. A little teriyaki stir fry, some noodles, some carrots, some baby corn, and the best part, we've got some venison steak. So I think I might kind of cook down the stir fry quick, and then I'll just sear the venison steak. We'll mix it all together with some teriyaki sauce, and then yeah, we'll have some stir fry. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you know too, this is the first time I've used the stove top, so everything is very experimental. So I'm just gonna let that stir fry cook down a little bit. And in the meantime, I kinda just put some salt and pepper on that venison steak, and I put a little bit of that teriyaki sauce in with it just kind of all cut up. And I'm doing just kind of a quick marinade. It's gonna just kinda be very impromptu. Obviously, you'd like to marinate your meat much longer than this, but it's better than nothing. So I'm just kinda keeping the meat moving, trying to squish as much of that teriyaki juice into the venison as possible. I'm, I'm not a cook, by the way. I'm a fisherman, so this, be impressed. In, impressed you should be. Oh. 
All right, not too shabby. Little venison teriyaki stir fry. That ain't a bad winter camping meal. A bluegill? Why would a dang bluegill take a fathead minnow? I am breaking the table down now and I'm gonna make it into a bed. It's pretty easy. Just pull the table down, put these cushions like so. And bada bing, bada boom. You got a single bed. If there's more than one person sleeping here, there's a piece of wood here that kind of comes down, goes out to there, goes out to there, then you got a double bed. I'll make my bed and then, yeah. Probably hit the hay. Well, good morning. Um, I slept great. I slept like too good. Uh, I'm a little bit bummed because I slept, I didn't sleep through my alarm. I hit my alarm a few times, but it's like a little past seven. And I kind of wanted to get up like, like a solid hour before the sun came up. And uh, I thought maybe I could jig for some walleyes or just kind of get that first daybreak bite. But, um, yeah, I slept really good. I was warm the whole time. I think it definitely helps it was warm outside, but I think this thing is very insulated. It holds heat very well. I did crack a few windows. Um, but yeah, this, this bed is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be too. Uh, the cushions are, are very comfortable. I, <laughs> I slept really good. So the game plan for the rest of the morning. Uh, I think I'm gonna have some grub. Probably make some eggs, some venison bacon, and then after that, uh, I might hop around on my truck, and I need to figure out where these fish moved. Um, I might use my portable and just kind of fish around a few different areas, see what I can see. I might do some sight fishing, or uh, I'll just at least poke a bunch of holes and see if I can find where these crappies moved, and then I might move the big shack over there tonight. So, yeah, I need to stay on these fish. I do want to catch big crappies, but at the same token, I'd like to maybe pop a few walleyes too, so. Yeah, first night in the house went awesome. I slept great, we had good food. That stir fry was money. The venison stir fry was money. And uh, yeah, I'm loving the shack. Night number one down and hopefully many more to go. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode all the way to the end, I appreciate it. I guess there's nothing left to be said and stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. So oh my pretty babe, something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Move ahead.